So picture this. If you're out in the field, you're doing the garden, you're feeding the animals, whatever you do on your small farm life every single day, then you start to see you need to do this and you need to do that task. And you should think about doing who knows what, right? And you're trying to hold it in your brain. And then before you know it, you're thinking later that day, oh, what was that thing that I said I needed to do? We've all been there. We've all had tasks that were like, oh, I need to do all these things. And one, that causes stress on your brain and you're not really meant to hold all of those things. But what do you do with that? Paper and pen is all well and good, but pencils break and pens don't really like the cold. So yes, we all love paper and you know, I'm definitely a paper person by preference, but that's not really handy, especially when you're doing chores and all of those things. We all have a phone with us, right? And what if you could pop all of those tasks that you see that you need done and then have them filtered and organized one by date or by priority or both? Wouldn't that be pretty cool? In this video, I'm going to show you two to three different tools that you can use and I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I'm not going to go into all of the aspects of the tools, but they all have apps or ways to keep them on your phone so that you can just pop in each task that you want to, to do. One, it will either automatically filter it for you after you have the filter set up or you can wait and go through them like maybe in the evening when you're chilling with your family or you're watching a video or something along those lines and you can sort them out and, and set up the filters then at the end of the day. Let's turn the screen around and let me show you some of these things that will help you stay more organized and keep track of all the things that you need to do that you spot but you're not ready to work on quite yet. All right, so there are three tool options. Um, this one, I'm gonna start with my favorite and go to the least favorite, but it doesn't have so much to do with the desktop uh, like version. It's more the one that has the best mobile experience. Because The reason that's important is because most of the time you're gonna be putting um, tasks in from your phone, and then yes, you may go to it on your desktop, um, but I want to show you from desktop the way it looks and then I will show you a screenshot and recording of how it looks on mobile. So this one I'm going to start with is Trello. Um, I have shifted back and forth between tools, but they just recently added this feature, which is awesome. So, um, this is called a board and then each row is called a list and then each of these items is a card. So. As you can see, I've made a sample one just to kind of get us started and not take forever <laughs> um, trying to show you each of these tools. If you create an account and then you go to create a board, you would click this plus sign, it would pop it up here for you, and then you would have none of these lists here, then you would put in whatever you wanted here, then press enter, and there you go. And then when you want to add more tasks, this is where you would click add a card and then add task there, okay? So that is the easiest way to pop them in quickly. Um, the other thing I love about Trello is that if you had a huge wall of tasks in a, in a list somewhere and you copied and pasted it, it would pop in each one individually on its own, okay? So I'm, I'll do tips and tricks on Trello later, but I just wanna get the core thing down. So now what I want you to do when you've popped in the list, this is where it gets really helpful and powerful. So you open up the card and then we're gonna select a due date for this item. So we're just gonna mix it up you can also add the time um, if it is time specific. So I'm gonna do this one at nine. And then I also want to, I wanna do some, some different things so that you can see how it will order them in a minute, okay? So we're still gonna pick the 21st for this one, but I'm gonna put it at eight once I sort it so that you can see how well it's going to sort them for you. All right, so this one is all the way at the bottom. So we're gonna pick one that is 
like right there for the 15th. Okay, so there's three example tasks. Now you're gonna come up in here and click these three dots. And then all the way down here, we want it to sort by. Then there are a couple different options. You can pick due date, card name, um, and it would sort them alphabetically. But we want it to um, put it, we want it to sort them by the time we want to get these tasks done. This is where it's really helpful to, um, you know, uh, put in the date because then it's going to tell you which one is in the most important. So maybe you see something that needs done, but it can wait a little bit. That's why we're going to put in the date and then that way it will watch. Oh, let's see, sort them, bingo, right there. So I put the 15th above and it even puts the 8 a.m. one ahead of task one because it's an hour different. So let's say you have three tasks you want to do today and um, let's change these up by times. So let's say you want to do this by today's the 11th. So let's say you want to do this by 10. And it even tells you when which one's getting due soon by the color change. And then it will turn red if it's um, past due. So today's the 11th. And we're going to, since this one is the second one down, we're going to leave it at 8 because it's going to change it. I want you to see how like just awesome this is, this tool is all right so that one let's make this one 12 p.m and save all right now notice how we're going to have it sort so it moved the one up that was an hour sooner do you see that Okay, so that's where it's just really helpful to um, have that done. Now, I am going to say that one pitfall of them is it doesn't do it automatically. It does, you have to just tell it to do it. Um, now, here's an automation list. Now, here is one where you would have to have it set up. Okay, so that was the, it will just, the one we did was just, it will do, sort them right then and there. So every day we want it to sort this list, the farm list, by, you can pick a lot of things, by due date, by start date, by label, time in the list, names and votes, and then ascending or descending. So this way it will do it automatically and then you just add the rule. It's super easy, okay? Now with Trello, I believe you only have a certain amount, okay? Because this is free, all of these tools are free, um, but they do limit you. So you have to just make sure that, um, and I, I think it's a lot. I don't think it's like two or three. Um, so this is where it's just, if you have it all in one list, then, you know, it will keep each task in order all the time once you put that due date and time in. Okay. So I hope that was helpful and that makes sense. Let's, switch. and I'm going to open up Trello first. Now, if you just notice how fast it moves already, um, that's one thing that I really love about this one. When you're trying to do farm tasks, you know, you gotta get, you gotta be snappy about it. Um, and so that is one place where I feel like Trello is above the rest. So all I did, let me go back real quick. Um, you don't have to have nearly these boards in here. And honestly, I wouldn't recommend that to you. Keep as, keep your boards as, as, um, low as possible. So you can also star boards here. You see that? And that are these three up top. Um, so honestly, if you're going to be accessing this task board a lot, I would be um, keeping this one at easy access. Okay, so you pull that one in here. You want to open it up. It comes really, really quickly. Um, the start date, you know, you can fix it here, change it. Um, if you want to completely delete one of these cards, you tap the three dots and there's the delete button. And I asked you if you want to delete it. Here is adding a task on mobile. And then you just tap the enter, open it up. And then you want to add the due date. Let's add, you can have next Monday or pick a date. So if you don't want to think about that too much, um, 
So that's added. Now what we're going to do, it added me as the assignee. So that was just an automatic thing. I could have unchecked that. Um, we're going to undo that so it doesn't look the same. Now there's the three dots. You tap that. And then there's the sort by. Now um, let me add, because these were, let's, we should still have the automatic sort set up. So these ones are due by 10 and 12 p.m. So I'm going to set one due by 9 o'clock. And it should pop that puppy up ahead of them. Okay, so let's make sure. Yep, 9 a.m. due today. I don't really care if it adds me to the card because I'm the only one. All right, let's close it. And then, okay. Uh, Yep, it didn't. Let's see if it, let's see if it, let's go out and come back. All right, so it looks like it kind of failed. I'm going to say that, um, doing that. But we're just going to do, tell it to sort. You can still tell it how to do it even on mobile. So that's super easy, right? Um, it's, that, that's kind of a, a detraction, excuse me, a detraction <laughs> from them. Okay, so you can have, um, Oh goodness. There we go. So there, that's how you would be able to change um, the, the titles of those. It's really easy, not hard at all. I like how well this moves and you can just use it with your finger where other ones do you have to use a specific button. Okay. Um, you can zoom out, which is a new feature here. Um, Anyway, so I really like the mobility of the, this app the most. I'm going to switch to Asana now. Um, I've already got some tasks in here. And um, the one thing that I, I like this one because it's a little bit cleaner if you don't like um, colors and all those boxes and things. This is a good option. Um this this one you can change the view so if you remember the other one looked like boards um in in the list vertical but this one has a lot of different views here so um it's it's really up to you so these are all the tasks here and they're not they're not in any order um so we're going to come up in here if you want it to have it sort them the filter is the ones where it will get rid of stuff but the sort is you know, like it did in the other one, putting it in order. So you would just choose what you want it to do to sort them by. We're going to click that. And it always puts the undated tasks at the bottom. Now, let's, um, I, I kind of like this one, and it's easy, relatively, to um, pop in a task, okay? Now, what I like about this one and the other one more so than the next one I'm going to show you, is each one has its own section of information. So maybe you, um, oh, <laughs> I wanted that to be barn door. There we go. Um, so maybe you need to buy a certain amount of supplies. Um, so you can come in and put need to buy. Then we're going to come down and you can click lists. You can make different lists that you need to do. Um, there's numbers. You could add a link if you wanted to purchase something from a specific website to do it. Um, it. It allows you to put all of the information underneath the task if you need to. Let's just say it's a bigger task than more than just um, doing one specific thing. Okay, so that is pretty much all. Well, and let me tell you this too. There is um, a signee, so maybe you have help um, if you want to use this um, with your, you know, farm hands. If you have those, maybe not, but or maybe your family members. Um, if you want to use this as a way to assign chores, um, so you can do that. If you want to remove it, you just <clears throat> click that. You can either hide it or um, you should be able to. Yeah, It doesn't look like it's going to allow you to remove it. So, sorry about that. But, um, so you can hide it if you don't want to see it. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to, that is a good enough explanation of this one. Again, I'm going in order of um, the mobile experience. Okay. 
All right, next we're gonna do a sauna. And it took it a little bit longer to really be able to show me anything. So it opened on the My Task um, list. So if anything is assigned to you, it will show up here. And that is okay. I mean, I don't love it if you have multiple things. So you would click the home and then it would have My Projects. And then if you don't have anything in Favorites, it's not going to show up. So let's try and add a task here on mobile. Then the one plus with this that has above Trello is that you can add the date right here, okay? So, you know, that is a plus um, from or for Asana, all right? Um, so let's see, there's the sort, and then we're gonna pick due date and have that done there, okay? Um, so, you know, I mean, this has its own benefits too, personally. And it's pretty simple. So, you know, it, it's a catch-22. I feel like each one kind of um, has its own pluses and minuses, but I will say Asana is a little bit more complicated on mobile rather than Trello. There's just more to do, which is kind of good, but we're not looking for doing a lot. Notion. Um, I like them because they allow you to just click high priority. Um, so now I, you have to make these, um, columns yourself. Um, they do have different views just like the other one, which is cool. Um, so let's click this one and this one, and then I'm going to come in here and sort by high priority. So it put them both <laughs> at the bottom. Um, it should, let's see if we can get it to do them. Yep, it's ascending, which we want descending. So the highest at the top, okay? So um, it does that. I like that because it's just, you can tap it on mobile rather than clicking this, then finding the date, and then if you want to add the timer, the end date, you know, that kind of stuff. It's a little bit of an extra step, okay? Um, so if you were going to add another column, let me get rid of that so you can see. All right, so we're gonna come in here and add a plus sign and you can name this anything you want, but it has different options. So you can have a text um, option here for what type of content you want it to do or numbers, select meaning multiple select. So you would add different options here. So this is how if you wanted to do hi, medium and low. So maybe you have different, um, you know, like you want it to be the different categories and not just high by uh, the, the type of priority. Okay. So you can do that and then you hit the back and then you would come in here and they're right there. So on mobile, you would be able to select that. You could also do that for categories of like I had the list in Trello for you know the farm or a specific animal you could do that and then sort them by due date and time over here if you wanted to do that okay now let me show you what notion would look like on mobile all right notion is actually does not have an Android app I I don't know if they have um, an Apple or ISO app or yet or not um, but all you have to do is just pin the web page to your home screen. Um, so that was way slower than the rest of them. So we're going to click the list that I made and that you saw this on mobile. Um, you can swipe side, excuse me, to side and add new. This one again has it all here it's pretty much the same I still I don't I feel like it's not as simple as um, Trello still but then you I do like this that you can choose most of them are um, allowing you to choose end dates I'm just gonna click done here's where I don't like it so when you go into add then it it has you on the the page of of the task that you're adding so then you have to either swipe back 
to go back a page or click the farm task list to bring you back. Um, it's not quite perfected its, its mobile, its mobility, really. Um, it's using it as a web page. So, um, you know, it's kind of a catch-22. Now, remember, we had the priorities. I'm going to make this one high so it will uh, group them together. Let's go ahead and see how well it sorts on mobile. And then you can pick it again by priority or due date. So, um, so we're going to click, I think descending was what we wanted. All right. So let's do that. Yep. There it goes. Um, now, obviously, now what you need to remember with this is that it didn't do, um, ascending and descending are by the order of which these are in on the list, right? So, um, you can, like, it, the computer is not reading what you put. It is just doing them by the order of the list. So, if you want to do ascending, you need to have them like that if you want your priority to be um, at the bottom. You see how it changed those already by the order, the way that we ordered the list, okay? So that's just some basics of how it works. Try them out. They are all, all have free options and do really well. I don't think you would exceed what any of them would do. All right, was any of that helpful? If you liked any of it or you have questions about a tool and you wanna see a deeper dive into how they work in ways that you could use them on your farm, drop that in the comments and I will see you next time.